Hi everyone, welcome back to another Halloween video. Hope you're not getting too bored of these. This one is a Beetlejuice one. I personally have never seen the film, um, but my client requested these to go with her Halloween costume for this weekend. So I'm just starting off on this uh, pinky with a purple from Glam and Glitz. I uh, can't remember the name of it, but it is a glow powder and I will pop it in the description box for you. So I'm just covering this whole nail with that colour. I do actually go back to that one and add a bit more to the tip area because I felt it was a bit sheer. <clears throat> so now I am uh, doing the ring finger and this is Twinkle Twinkle by Glam and Glitz. Uh, both colours are glow powders, um, although I did forget to take a picture of them glowing, which I'm gutted about. Um, I do spend about 17 hours doing this uh, covering of white, so... If you want to skip ahead, I don't blame you. Because the next nail is white also. I don't know why I faffed so much with this one. I think I even come in with another bead. Yep. <laughs> Christ. And then this one is white too. Twinkle Twinkle is a really nice white, it's uh, got a um, very fine glitter to it and it glows really nice. Little bits of hair stuck to the end. It might be the colour for why I took so long um, doing these nails. Um, the Glitter Bells White normally covers really easily, um, whereas I felt these were a bit patchy, so I had to keep adding more and more until I was happy with it. And then this one is that gorgeous um, glitter from Glitter Bells, uh, Poison Ivy I think it's called. <clears throat> my favourite Halloween one ever. I don't even know if it was meant to be a Halloween glitter, but I just love it for Halloween. It's got very fine uh, glitter in it, and then it's also got very chunky bits of glitter in it. But I, didn't, I don't struggle with it at all. So you should be fine. Just pick it up with a nice wet bead of acrylic and then just nudge it around on the nail until you're happy with the coverage and make sure it's nice and flat make sure you flatten the whole nail down with your brush so that when it comes to encapsulating you ain't got any of the chunky bits sticking up and then the thumb is that purple again
and then I am going to oh yeah so I missed recording it on the other hand so I recorded it on this one instead um so I've just taken um some pigments that I've got literally just dipped my brush into my monomer and then picked up the tiniest I can't even stress to you like how tiny like a pinprick's worth of the um pigment and then just dabbed it onto the nail I wanted the nail to be mainly white but just with a hint of colour and then I just let that dry and then I'm putting the decal on now as I normally do <clears throat> um, encapsulating it however when I went to put the clear acrylic on uh, the clear acrylic reacted with these decals because the f these are from a different seller um, so I had to file it off and cap the nail and then apply the decal and then just cover it in uh, top coat which was fine like there was no issues it's just because I'm so used to um, encapsulating them it shocked me a little bit <laughs> so yeah so I'm just going to come in and top coat these nails because I'm going to do some um, art on top of them and I like them to be uh, top coated before so I find that if you are using gel paints or gel polish for nail art on top of um, freshly done acrylic um, if there's like uh, some scratches in the acrylic from your nail file um, the <clears throat> the gel will like seep a little bit into the scratches so I prefer just to top coat and then go over it and I did add some glitter to this nail as well once it was dried so this one I am just gonna do some stamping it's the spiral stamper uh, stamp and play again uh, it's a Born Pretty one. Again, I'll leave the link in the description box. It was just off eBay. And this is a Born Pretty stamper, that, uh, jelly stamper that I'm using at the minute as well. And my Mo You polish. I do love Mo You for the polish. I think it's exceptional. And I'm just using uh, one of my Candy Coat gel polishers. Um, it's a green sparkly one and I'm just creating like blood drips but with the green which actually looks really good at the end it's, it didn't really pick it up in the photograph as well but yeah they look really good I was really happy with it just using my uh, crystal nails detail brush as always and then I'm just going to come in and do some black stripes with this nail my striping brush is just a cheap one from ebay nothing special i actually cut the bristles a little bit to make it a bit skinnier and i'm using crystal nails royal gel i do like the crystal nails royal gel it's a really nice consistency um it's not too thick but it's not too watery either so I find it really good for nail art and such And this is the end result. I hope you like them. Um, I love these nails. I was really happy with them. Bit jazzy, bit out there. Um, I will be back hopefully tomorrow with an autumn set. Um, so yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.